My mic's on, and now they can hear you too. What's up, everybody? Y'all, I am so excited for this cast. You have no idea. Because guess what? I didn't plan it at all, as normal. I'm tired of making excuses to y'all. But the best thing happened anyway, because I got the Kintsugi Kai and her wonderful lady, uh, Mal Greens. Mal, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know Mal's full name. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Is that, what? That's absolutely okay. Uh, it is malignant spirit. That's it. Right. That one. The one with the thing. Um, 
but yeah, I am. I'm so stoked to have you guys. KK, I think I had you on like the first or second week we ever did this stream. And it was one of my favorites because it was just so freaking chaotic. And uh, I'm super excited <laughs> to have you back. <laughs> Is Mal alive? I know you mentioned she was, she was sick. Uh, Mal is barely, barely alive, but she's right here. Uh, she's here no worries. Go. She can participate uh, as much or as little as she wants. Whatever makes her comfortable. It is all good. I just appreciate her loaning you out for the night, if you know what I mean. Um. <laughs> I have so many things I could say to that, but I don't I, I don't know if this is a rated R uh, um, chat today. We, we, we try to keep it PG-13. Keyword try. Okay. I, I sometimes goof on that, too. Uh, but that's okay. <laughs> I love that's that. okay it is it is a lot of fun so okay we have uh, got one team readied up which means that the other one should be getting going in in just a moment here i don't know who we're following i just kind of threw it on sideline but all right there we go they are readied up and uh disc is gonna respawn into th no they're not readied up i lied they'll figure it out anyway okay they're chilling yeah okay okay i got a question oh, for hey, you let's go yeah what's up so you you know the, the captain of entropic force the most chaotic team known to vrml how oh, did how did you get such absolutely. a reputation <laughs> um okay so low-key we barely ever practice any rollouts uh have no idea how we got to platinum almost diamond last season <laughs> um so so my plan is if we don't know what we're doing other people don't know what we're doing so it just kind of works and it's just a random spontaneous uh, a piece of piece of art, uh, I'll say. <laughs> uh, we just play together pretty much uh, so much in beer league and other places that I think we've just learned how to read what each other are gonna do, and it, it works out. And uh, kind of like the benefit of us kind of staying together for a while and just hanging out and being friends and not necessarily focusing on the win per se, but focusing on just getting better. And having fun. That is so awesome because you guys have been t together for for quite a while now. Actually, you know, a lot of teams break up, fall apart, reform. But like in Tropic Force, you know, with some roster changes, have have been around for a while, and you have uh, you know been the the team to keep an eye on because, <laughs> as is the running joke, yeah. you've been cycling everybody in beer league through it, which. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. Um, so that's literally the only place I pull for new players from. So the only person who's not 21 and older on Entropic Force is Coaster Master. And uh, that's because he helped me build our team back in uh, 2020 or what was it, 2021. And yeah. um, it was on actually instead of VRML, it was whenever VRPL was doing an Echo um an echo thing for a while so mm -hmm. uh, we started up there he told me what plays and rollouts were because i had no idea i literally had like less than two weeks of experience in echo and he's just like no problem fam i got you and so he's been helping me kind of like put things together since then and ultimately it just ended up as different people left uh beer league was the first community that i kind of fell in love with so i just kind of uh kept stealing people from beer league to, to start first is link and we always joke around that he only used us to go pro uh <laughs> you're out there link one listening rejoin us or else uh <laughs> but um i love that yeah, it's been good yeah and so there's been a couple of roster changes since that initial creation of the team because they're still with us but um after the roster changes in season five we haven't really changed up too much we pulled in venom for a little while as our sub and uh, with all this Nepa stuff, he can't do season six with us. So we got Snek now. He's been an awesome addition to the team. Snek's and awesome. So he is. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a lot of similar mannerisms as me too, as far as like how he likes to interact with the community. Yeah. Um, so it it's been really nice just having him around and helping us form our uh, sister team as well. So. Well, yeah. What's the What's the story with the yeah. sister team? I'm like super excited for that but like I, I mean i feel like i usually hear you complaining about the kids a lot too so i'm you know what what went into that what was the thought process behind it yeah so i'm always complaining about kids and echo because most of them are toxic and so That's my true. i yeah my idea was well okay so i'm always complaining about it but i've never done anything about it and so i kind of formed the team with a couple of uh like high level people who have offered to be mentors as well to, uh, that youth team so that we're getting people who 
may or may not have, you know, like had a past history of potentially being toxic. Um, for the majority, they're pretty non-toxic players and they're there to get mentorship on sportsmanship and what it really is to be a team player. Uh, mm -hmm. But people who are also show a lot of promise and willingness to um, thrive competitively. So that's kind of the point is I'm finally doing something about all of my complaints. <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually worked out really nice. I've seen a lot of these guys um, mature just even within the server, whether we've rostered them or not. And um, they stay within the server and, you know, they just kind of get that chance to talk to a lot of people that I trust. Uh, who, you know, keep Echo fun and engaging. So it's been nice. That's so, so awesome, man. Oh my God, I love that. I mean, I, hats off to you. I don't have the patience to deal with the kids, but you know what? I'm super good on you for doing it. Somebody's got, yeah, and you know what? Someone's got to do it. So thank you for taking care of the team. <laughs> I don't know about that, Psych. I have consistently heard you call Echo Mom of the Year for like I, ever. I I do. I'm doing Echo. Yeah. <laughs> Season three, the my children was, love you. Yeah, season three, my team, my team was nicknamed Psycho's Rehab Program. So hey, let's go. <laughs> I was young and naive, and uh, took some really, you know, notoriously toxic people on the team, and made it work somehow. So it's cool. It's cool. Okay, on to the more fun stuff. How, what is, and why is horse-sized chaos? <laughs> Why is that our motto? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so back when uh, Daylight was still on the team, like the only way that he could get um, videos was through Facebook. So we had like a little Facebook um, group for Entropic Force that we would send clips and everything through. No and way, I'm Queen! Oh, Did you see this? Uh, I'm yeah. sorry, I don't mean to cut you off, but I think this is no, Queen's no, Night playing beautiful. here on the VRGL game, and she just hit that, and I'm so proud of her. Oh my god, I'm sorry, continue. Not gonna lie, it was sexy. It was. Queen, if you go back and rewatch this, let it be known. It was sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Going back to that, I, I'm deaf as hell, right? So I can't hear anything. So I watch everything with subtitles on. Dude, um, I feel... <laughs> yeah, so when I was rewatching our VOD one day, like, I was reading the subtitles, and, uh, we were saying something about chaos, I don't even remember what the original sentence was, but the screen just kept saying horse-sized chaos, horse-sized chaos, so we took a screenshot of that, we were just like, alright, you know what, yes, th this is it, this is our, this is our motto now. <laughs> <laughs> so, we came Horse Size Chaos, and Electro Cow subbed in for uh, goal a little bit on the back end of season four, I think? And, um, yeah, it was season four, and, uh, it ended up turning into horse, uh, can I say ass on stream? Oh, I mean, you already did, so just go for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, it, it turned into Horse Size Cow Ass for a little while. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so and uh, we more more than horse size chaos now though. Pretty much at the beginning of each match now, we always say fight for daylight. But there is absolutely like zero coordination when we say it. It just sounds so, it, it, it's so bad. I even do a countdown and everything, and they still can't all say it together. <laughs> They've been doing this for over a year now, and they still can't get it right. <laughs> Oh man, I love that. Yeah, because you know what? For those who don't know, you know, a lot of the, you know, a lot of the players in and around the community have the, the fight for daylight tag in their in their Discord bios, and I think that is beautiful. But this is Kintsugi Kai, the one who organized all of those efforts and all of these, you know, the stuff to support him. So you know what, KK and, and, and Mal, shout out to you two for making this stuff happen because you know, meaningful relationships in this community is what makes this community. So you are an icon and i appreciate you and i'm sure everybody else does as well um i appreciate that but daylight no was worth every bit of <laughs> daylight was worth every bit of effort it took to get all of that together he's such an amazing human and i miss having him around as much in the uh community he's got a little bit less time to play now with uh different rounds of chemo and whatnot he He's not usually feeling up for it these Aww. days, but when he when he does get online, you know, it's always a good opportunity to catch up and, and hang yeah. out with him because he's he's a great guy. That is that is so so awesome. I really love that. Um, 
Mal, are you alive? Because I want to know. I want to know what it's like listening to KK play Echo. Because like we hear it, right? <laughs> but like, how insane does she look with like sweat dripping down her face and like you know, drinking her bra, like going at it, screaming at the top of her lungs? Like, I need to know what it's like to experience that in person. I don't even know if you can tell me. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Uh, I'll see if she's up for explaining that. If she's not, it's yeah. all good. I don't want to bug you. <laughs> are, are you up for explaining what it's like to watch me play echo, particularly whenever you put uh, alcohol in my bra with a straw in it to let me uh, drink and play at the same time? <laughs> what Liz? Or Mal? You know, get closer to the mic so they can hear you. I mean, it was pretty impressive for a few minutes until she spilt it on herself. I love it. I love it. I just, I, oh man. Yeah, and in general, what's it like watching me play? Violent. (laughs) I love that. Thank you. Oh my god. She That's she's so run good. back away as she's now hacking out her her lungs. So, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, first of all, I've been ignoring the chat, and I'm so sorry. Whip, thank you for clipping that for Queen. I appreciate it. Silver Ridge, always good to have you. Yes, you are here on Tom. I'm so impressed. And then uh, Epic Turtle 13, first time chatter. Hello there. How are you? Welcome. We are so glad to have you. <laughs> But that, was, um, that was such a sultry voice, I'm not gonna lie. I know, I know, that's how I retain the viewers. <laughs> oh, can, can you do I'm a little kidding. bit more? I, I mean I that, that costs extra. Everybody gets it once for free when they you know when they first time chat. No, I'm kidding. Um I bet. I'll send I'll send it through our personal account. <laughs> Yes, static dash thirteen. Everybody in the arena is, you know, is a woman identifies as a woman. We are, you know, accepting, which is super cool. Um, but yeah, so so VRGL, thank you for launching into my weekly spiel. Uh, is more than just these games on on Sunday nights, right? Like it is a whole social community for women in gaming. You know, with a focus on Echo because that is where it originated. But just you know, women in gaming, particularly Echo. It's a it's a community. It's a social group. It's a support group. It is. You know, it means so, so much to me. And then, of course, you know, on Sundays we have these mixed games because if you've ever been in a pub with a woman, like it is it is not exactly the most pleasant experience at times. Yeah, exactly. That noise. And so it's like it it makes me super duper happy to be able to cast these games. I say casting very loosely uh, to be able to showcase these games (laughs) and give these girls a um, a platform Um, because, you know, like it's, it's nice to be casted. You can clip it. I mean, you can clip it when I'm not saying something ridiculous. That's another running joke, is every time the girls try to clip something, I'm talking about something, like, uh, just off the wall, and it makes no sense. Also, hey, they're muted. Why are they muted? You. There we go. Oh, oh my god, I'm... I needed the giggles. Oh. I may have... At... Well, I don't know if my controls control your mutes. I may have done it because, no, again, you're good. I'm, they don't. I'm super <laughs> deaf. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm really deaf, and if I had them uh, unmuted, I would not be able to hear you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... Crew, party crew asking me, do you think you will ever run out of people to co-cast? Uh, no, because then I just start bugging the same people again. <laughs> and Let's go. It's, yeah, it's really, really bad. Um, yeah, I am so bad at planning <laughs> these things. It's like, I get to Sunday and I'm like, oh my god, I forgot to get a co-host again. So, yeah, thank you, Whip. If you are interested in joining VRGL, you can get on in contact with Whip, Cool Whip. You put her Discord there. Or mine, uh, it's psychotic zero 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 one. Doesn't matter. Either of us can get you in there. But yeah, that's super super awesome. Um, can you anyone tell you what Princess Claire's Discord is again? I have no idea, but I guarantee you can find her through the VRPL server if you need to. I know she's she's a big deal over there. You can probably find her on that right hand panel. Um, Silver, do you found that pubs with even one woman are much more enjoyable? I don't like how how are they more enjoyable? I'm really curious here. I mean, okay, I'm, that's not true. Yeah, Playing curious. with women is awesome, but like, the, the toxicity that you see is not. I, you know, it's yeah. Anyway, I'm with you. Words. So there's often times when I just legitimately mute myself if I'm gonna pub by myself. Uh, it, it's too much. I either get you know someone going it's a women, and that's always. I don't know what that trend's where that trend started, but a lot of Echo kids uh, say that a lot. 
And sometimes I had to just talk like positively, toxically. I don't know how do I say that. Toxic positivity. I meet I meet them kind of with the same energy, and I'm like, yeah, it's a woman, man. Dude, I was I can't so confused. There's one in the pub. <laughs> you said you'll meet them, and like in my herd, I heard M E A T instead of M E E T. I was like, what does that even mean? Why are you meeting people, KK? Them. I will I will tenderize them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You do you, babe. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Yeah, I realize that that probably doesn't sound right. <laughs> oh my god. Can I? Can I? Can I? I need to. Um, so, do you, have an, do you have an iPhone or an Android? I have an Android. <laughs> okay, so you know how when you're texting and you open, like, the, the GIFs and, like, you press one, it doesn't, like, ask you to send it. Like, it doesn't Discord. It just sends it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I have this GIF of um, this little egg yolk with butt cheeks. And, um, <laughs> hold on, I am going somewhere with this, I promise. <laughs> sure you are, sure you are. It's okay to want to talk about egg butts. I'm sending it to you right now, and I'm going to also put the link in the chat. Um, all right. <laughs> so, there's this little egg with butt cheeks, and I use it all the time for random stuff. Like, when I, like, a lot of times if the conversation's going to end, it's like, I don't think this, is, like, really needs a response, but I want to make sure that they know I saw it. I'll just send this gif. It's just, <laughs> I do that. But anyway, so it's like sitting in my recent gifts today and I was texting my doctor for something because I needed a, a form filled out and he's asking me like all these really important questions. Oh yeah, I did the thing. I did the thing. I like was going to change to symbols and I opened gif instead and I sent this egg gif when he was like, I need to know, like, is there any chance you're pregnant? And I sent that and I wanted to die. <laughs> I'm assuming he's going to think that you meant yes, then. <laughs> I very quickly followed it up with, oh my god, I did not mean to do that, but... Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> it's cool. It's awesome. No, I've definitely accidentally said some weird things to my parents before, but uh, we don't talk about it. Uh <laughs> I mean, it happens. It is I also yes. accidentally sit, sent Nicholas Cage to someone today. I don't know if you've seen that. I would love to. I have not. I cannot it link it in chat. I will send it to you in a bit because I've got to find the file. But I have also Fair accidentally enough. sent a um, picture of uh, a young woman um, with Nicholas Nicholas Cage photoshopped <laughs> over her. I, I I heard you say Nicholas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you said it. <laughs> So, <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Whip, I really appreciate you calling them out in chat because I see these plays and I'm like, oh, that was so good, but I'm in the middle of talking. I'm going to make sure to say good job as soon as I'm done talking and then I forget because I have the brain of a peanut. So. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, I, uh... Oh my God, Savannah, the steal. Oh no, I really wanted that to go in. That was such a good steal. <laughs> it, it, it is, ah, uh, it's shy. It was close. Oh my God. It was. That's what always happens to me on bounces. Like my, I, I get a little bird brain sometimes. I'm like, oh shoot, do I want to hit the triangle bit or do I want to hit the middle bit? I don't remember which bit from this angle. And then I just, I just yeet it at the backboard. I'm like, hope it goes in. It's I so yeah. close. I feel that. <laughs> I'm really just bad at backboards in general. Same thing. I don't know where to put it. I like, I'm mesmerized by the people that can use the backboard. So wow, far. That holy was a crap, time. Caroline. Yeah, that was a beautiful attempt at goal. Good lord, girl. That was like, so that good. Was a gorgeous save. Yeah. Ooh. That was so good. Silveridge saying he's back. Welcome back. You missed the talk about Nipolis Cage and the egg with the butt. <laughs> so, you know, we peaked. You can go home now. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Stay with us. So, anyways. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm with you, Silveridge. Like, games pubs with girls i always enjoy them more because if there's two of us in there then i hear a little bit less of the the commentary and it's just one there's just so many people there who just bleh. like if they miss a shot it's because a woman was on their team if they miss a save it's because a woman was on their team and everything is our fault and it's so frustrating but like psychiatrist yeah. said uh, this this cast here always gives the opportunity to show how how great they really are. 
<laughs> I'm jealous of like all the people who are playing right now skills because uh, like I said, I'm probably like the most undeserving platinum captain ever. Like <laughs> That is false. Listen, that is so false. And like even okay, even if you lacked it in, in skill, which you do not. But even if you did, what you contribute to that team in energy and organization and, like, just general creating a positive team experience, you are the most deserving captain I have ever, like, seen. I don't want to ever hear that come out of your mouth again. So, yeah. I, I appreciate it, Leo. But, yeah, like, skill level, I'm, like, low-key bronzy. <laughs> <laughs> with my, my solid like 42 percent pub win rate <laughs> i mean to be fair i almost never play pubs anymore and like that is from way back whenever i started and still didn't know what competitive echo was but <laughs> oh yeah i uh I, I have... yeah <laughs> Yeah. I don't think it's actually that bad. I think it's like 47%, but it's never going to go up from there, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel that. Like, my, my pub percentage is, is probably lower than it should be. But, like, that's, who cares, <laughs> man? Who cares? I don't think anybody asks for pub stats anymore. Like, that was a thing for a while, but I don't think anybody's like, yeah, must have an X percent win rate. Because everybody knows that pubs are just pubs now. <laughs> but... It is what it is. It doesn't really matter. I am, like, a huge... Yeah. I'm, like, I'm a huge fan of being able to play pubs, like, after beer league. <laughs> but, like, other than that, I just I just can't. I really can't. There's too many, like, too many solo artists and people that just want to, like, start stuff for no reason. It's... Yeah. Yeah. I, um... Uh... Sometimes I just get bored and I'm just like, you know what, it's pub time, and I either put a uh, voice, so I have an alt, alt account that I don't tell anybody the name of, and yeah. that's usually where I play pubs now, so um, I have a voice modulator on that alt account, and so whenever I'm on there, it just sounds like I'm an 11-year-old child whose parents didn't want their real voice being displayed over the internet, so uh, instead of me being a girl, because I'd rather be made fun of for being too young to play, and instead of... Uh, them just ragging on women the whole time so <laughs> yeah it's yeah wait silver do you still get heaps of people who rely on pub sets for their their self-worth and dude nude i believe it also hi i haven't seen you in a while hope you're doing well but yeah i just like dude when people are like oh my win rate's over 60 percent i'm like that's <laughs> so cool <laughs> i bet you feel so good about yourself i you know what's up Oh, keep going. No, you keep going. Uh, no, I don't know where I was going, so please cut me off. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I just highly suspect that if anybody's win rate is, like, legitimately over 55, I am suspicious of early quits on losses, and, I, and they, that's just the pessimist in me. Yeah. But, yeah, I, like, I'm not going to say the algorithm is perfect because it's not. But, like, I know whenever I've won, like, three or four pubs in a row, like, the team that I'm on wins three or four in a row, it, like, sets me up against a team that there's, like, no way I'm gonna fucking beat them. Uh, sorry, I just dropped the F-bomb. Uh, <laughs> there's no way I'm going to freaking beat them. Nobody, nobody heard the other word. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so it, it's always super suspicious to me, but it is what it is. It depends on the time of day, too, I guess, when you play. Oh man, Silver, you just, you just struck, you just hit something in me, I'm not gonna lie. Then uh, Silver saying not to mention the, the amount of players that roast me and others for missing a half court then leave as soon as they start losing by one point. The people that leave when you're down by one and there's still plenty of time left on the clock make me so angry. I have gone out of my way, and this is so petty, but I have gone out of my way if I'm like, I'll open my alt discord after we like win the match after somebody loses or I'm sorry after somebody leaves and we come back and win to tell them we didn't need you it's fine and I'll send them the scoreboard and that is so petty <laughs> and that is so toxic but I'm so done with it man like I love that <laughs> I just that's I, beautiful see I I can't send them the scoreboard because I'll just have straight up donuts across the board and <laughs> Oh no, I, I, my stat line will probably be awful, but like that's just not the point. I'm like, 
if you're leaving because somebody's in the, in the game is being toxic, please do. I like I I will fight for that all oh, day long. Yeah. That is one of the things that actually really concerns me about Rad's like you know some change coming to early quitting. Like I quit if, yeah. there's, if somebody's being an asshole in the pub, and I feel exactly. like I should not be punished because I don't want to be subjected to it. Like yes, muting is a thing, and that's so cool. Muting is muting is great, and I recommend everybody use it liberally. But like, yeah. you you can feel it in the air that it's like still happening because like based on your teammates' responses or their body language, like it's just it's so it's really irritating. It's like I should I should not have to deal with that. I should just be able to leave. So I don't know, you know, and I don't know how you tell the difference there, because right? Because there's people that just kind of quit for the sake of quitting. They're like, oh, we're losing, and like, oh, yeah. I don't want to be here. Oh, my teammates are bad. So like, I don't know how they're planning on differentiating that, but I am I am kind of worried. Yeah, it's. At, whenever I first saw that potential change coming down the line, I, it's that's just super. In my opinion, it's super discriminatory no way. towards people who get. That was beautiful. Uh, <laughs> that's the only shot I can ever try to make is from dust. Yeah. Newt says, just play m music max volume and don't talk. That's that's awesome. One day, Newt, I want to be as good as you as I can do that. I still need, like, communication because <laughs> I have the game sense of a donkey. So. <laughs> I, I disagree with that. You are one of the few people, like, so I'm not going to say I'm great at shielding or, like, bleaching or anything, but that, is, that used to be, like, my go-to because I couldn't really do anything else. And you're, like, one of the few people I can never stun out because you'll always block at the right time and you'll always stun me at the right time. You're, like, the only person who could read that on me for a while. I, yeah. <laughs> I do, I do I pride know. myself on, on smart brawling, but as, like... Oh, yeah. But for 99% of the other things. You got that on lock. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I mean, the, um, okay, what? well, here's the thing, Newt. Like, you know, if you get penalized for early quits, is it going to penalize the whole headset? Like, is it going to be an I? Is it going to be an IP lock? Or is it going to be just your one account? Like, I don't I don't know. We gonna find out, though. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. Oh, no, you're good. I just know one of my most, like, glorious and, like, happy memories in Echo was the first time I stunned you and stole a disc from you. Because <laughs> I was like, oh shit, I finally made it. <laughs> I I was, that game I stole, I think it was either, I think it was just a regular beer league private. And uh, like it wasn't beer league night or anything. And I was cracked that day for no good reason. Uh, I was probably drinking, which is why, but... <laughs> uh, I, I remember it was the first time I'd ever stunned you, and I got the disc, and I was like, oh shit, and then I yeeted it, and it went nowhere. Um, but I still did. <laughs> I'm so glad I could be part of that <laughs> moment for you. I had I had a similar experience, like a similar moment the first time I, I stunned out Gil. Because he, he used to <laughs> always get me, but like the first time I got him and I got the steal, I was like a level 30-something, like it, it meant a lot. Yes, you get it. Like, it feels good. Whenever there's, like, those players that, like, you know are really hard. Ooh. Oh, my. Queen. Queen! Yeah. <laughs> she said, nope. No saves for you. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> Do a quick stat check. Because that was, that was nice. Yeah. Oh, wow. Everybody contributing all over the board. The only zeros are, are saves right now, and those are, those are difficult. So, like, who cares? <laughs> Look how Back. even things are, except for the steals. Orange team kind of killing it with the steals. That's Dang. awesome. Okay. It is. Newt, why do you have this many headsets? Like, what's the what's the point? A CV one, a Rift S, a Quest one, and a <laughs> Quest two. Holy crap! I mean, like, uh, uh, good for you, I guess. I don't know what to say to that, but um. All right, just in case. I believe it. I believe it. I mean, I know I know people that stockpile CV ones, but I don't think I've you know. <laughs> I've been. Oh man, I've That's been so tempted they to switch. Be able to use them That's fair. Okay, so here's my here's my issue with the switch is, I tried. I tried it for like a month, and I'm not gonna lie. Like my shooting did start to improve a little bit with consistency, mm -hmm. and I just switched back to quest again today, and my shooting is. A little bit off again um but my guess is as standalone headset like improves a little bit more that the mechanics are probably still going to be pretty similar to the quest 
and I'd rather just not get used to what will eventually be an obsolete headset. Like, eventually, like, they're oh, just you can't gonna, say that. KK, no, you can't. You can't. They're, they're, they're all going to come out of the woodwork. They're going to all come out of the woodwork. They're going to get mad. Oh, I know they are. <laughs> I know, but it's going to die one day. It's old technology. Well, not old technology, but the technology is not being made anymore. And so yeah. one day, the reason people stockpile them is because they're all going to break one day and they're not going to have them. So. Like, I know. It, and you can't play with them at LANs. There's no more PCVR LAN events, really. And so, if there's ever a situation, and this is kind of where my mind is at, if there's ever a situation where they start doing, like, regional competitions that lead on the national, that lead on the worlds, those tournaments are going to take place at in-person LAN events. And if you're used to playing a PV1 and you switch to a quest for those tournaments, you're just going to suck. Yep. <laughs> like, yeah. it's not going to be good. And so, it... it as much fun as I had trying out the CV1 and how much more beautiful it is on CV1 because the graphics are cooler, uh, it I'm just gonna stick with the Quest. <laughs> so I, I don't recommend switching, especially if you're already good on Quest. Yeah, that's Ooh, fair. That was so close. That was so close. <laughs> no, you're good. Yeah, Newt saying you know the CV1 just makes you more consistent, not better. That's so true though. Like. I know a ton of people who, like, got the CV1, and they're, like, from, like, gold, and they're like, I'm gonna be diamond now. And I'm like, your throwing was not your problem, dude. Like, you don't, <laughs> you don't understand when to push on stacks. You don't understand, like, how to find open space or who to cover when and how. Like, this is, a CV1 does not magically make you know how to play the game. <laughs> Unless your problem Very is throwing true. consistently, like, you're gonna have the same issues. Plus, it even takes away skills in, in some departments until you figure it out again. Like, one of my teammates on my AAA team is, like, really, really good at juking, and then he tried to switch to CV1, and he got so slow, and he basically had to, to relearn how to do it. So it is not just like, oh, buy CV1, get good, but... Yeah. We'll see. I'm not... I'll say, yeah, some of the um, changes that I noticed as well is when you're reading the disc or seeing the disc, it just looks slower. Like, you're, I guess you're getting, maybe it's a faster frame per second kind of thing. I'm not sure what why that difference existed, but everything looks slower in CV1. And so, oh, wow. That was Speaking of tracking uh... fails and teleports. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> that was super unfortunate. Um... <laughs> Dang, all right, Lulu, but, that, that rock you got plugged into your wall is not a router, girl. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so everything looked a little bit slower. Um, whenever I tried to grab things, uh, it was much slower when I tried to grab things. So, like, at first it took me a while to learn how to slap again off walls and to slap the disc and everything. Um, like I said, really the only difference was I can more consistently figure out how to flick my wrist to throw it where I wanted it to go. Yeah. Um, when I switched back to Quest today during our scrim against Tyro, it was really embarrassing. I took like a head-on shot at goal and it went straight down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> going back to the chaos of our team, if I don't know what I'm doing, they can't know what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> Her, I mean, hey, you know what? If it if it works, it works. I played, I played in a private uh, today with uh it was a beer league private and i played with phenom and there was a couple of times he was like "Sai, what are you doing as i do something like ridiculous and then i end up like scoring <laughs> or getting the pass off correctly or something and he just goes okay i guess and i'm like ah yep <laughs> exactly so, like sometimes things just work out it, yeah it, like, it, it did right, that way I accept this. and that's basically what happens every time our team plays together <laughs> <laughs> if it works it works but, uh, oh, man. Okay, I'm, like, actually kind of invested in this game. There is a minute left. Orange team won round one. Blue team won round two. Blue team is currently down by one with 50 seconds to go. And I'm... Oh, my. This could be it. Savannah. Savannah coming in. Oh, no. Oh, getting a stun. Oh, but Princess oh, Claire oh. with the grab. Driving off of the boot. Looking for oh, the there lane. Is. There it oh. is. Oh, my. That is not... That is not ice just yet. That is only a two. So, blue team yeah. has the opportunity here. 30 seconds to go. Down by three. I am... I'm so excited. They need either a super effective relay or fast play or a beautiful headbutt. Let's see. Let's see what they're going to try. Yeah. Were they going to try? Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, no, shit. Caroline! Oh, <laughs> damn. That's brutal. That was. Brutal. That, that was insult to injury right there. She said, you guys get no chance. I'm stopping this right now. Damn. 
<laughs> that, that was, yeah. Dang. Yikes. Anyway, yeah, so that is... What that a good is, freaking Matt. That was good, man. I mean, shout out to Glass. She makes the teams every week, and sometimes after the first round, I'm like, oh, I don't know about this, but then it, it evens itself out, so... Awesome job there. And that is the end of our stream. A quick stat check before people start leaving. So, you know, I, gotta, I always forget that and then I get yelled at later. Yeah, stay on. Yeah. Stay on right yeah. now. Otherwise, because I'm going to say something weird. You're not going to want to miss it. Oh. Oh, my. I mean, I meant, I meant <laughs> yeah. the, the girls leaving the arena, but that too. Okay. Well, KK, <laughs> before we do our signing off, is there anything you want to plug? No. No. That's a total lie. Just to get people to stay. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, that is the end here of our show. Oh, we got we got two additional viewers when I said that though. So That's kind of like crazy. We just spiked to 14. <laughs> We've been like pretty consistently at 10 all night and then as soon as you said that we went up to 14. I'm kind of impressed. The people know what they want. <laughs> you said that and people were like y'all KK's about to say something ridiculous on stream. It's like, Hi yeah, Caroline. Right I heard now. that. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> anyway but yeah that is the end of our stream so thank you thank you guys so much for watching thank you to the players who showed up this evening princess claire savannah was taken Aww. caroline rose queen Azila, glass Alyssa, azalea and oh no who's the last lulu lulu whose router actually just caught fire so she dropped that's totally what happened i mean it makes sense you saw the teleportation earlier yeah it was kind of rough <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah so that is that is it if you are not sick and tired of listening to me babble, I am going to be on here. You know, we, we do this every week, first of all, Sundays at 9 p.m. Um, and if you or someone you know is a woman and would love to play in these games, hit me up on Discord, hit Coolup up on Discord, whatever you got to do, we will we will get you in there. Um, and if you're not tired of hearing me ramble, I do cast the Wireless Jacks every Monday at 8 p.m. So, you know, with, with VRML on the off season, if you... You know, I'm, I'm missing I'm missing some casting. You can watch that. It's a good time. And hello, Virtus Media, who just got home and is really late and just missed a really fun stream with KK. Good job. I hope you had a good trip, though. All right. Good night, everybody. Love y'all. See you next time. Um, Bye. Good night. Thanks for having me. All, all I need is Everything that brought me alive Though we're all like monsters Playing with the monsters They brought me alive But got no alibi Playing with the monsters